I just started working with this mentor program, right? Like an hour uh, a day, just so I could give back more to the youth, right? And so I've been doing this for about a month now, just trying to gauge them. The mentor program really didn't have a curriculum or anything set for the kids. So I was like, all right, cool. I'll just adjust while I'm going there. So a, a few of the schools I've been going to, the adjustment has been well, whether it's through Central, Week Wake, and a few other high schools. I'm like, cool. They, I have a connection with the kids, whereas though, I feel like I can get somewhere in a conversation and I can actually learn from them as well as learn, be able to teach them some things as well. Mm -hmm. But, and there's a big but there because there was one school that I've been struggling to kind of deal with and, and get through to them and penetrate to be able to relate and also be able to, you know, learn from and teach them as well. And that school was Westside. And to me, it kind of made me think like, wow, you know, with a school that has so many resources, they got Dame Dash coming there. They got Ellen DeGeneres who, you know, uh, donated a substantial amount of money. They have a lot of support. Like, why are the youth or these individuals that's a part of the program, like, so resistant to everything that's going on that could work in their benefit? Like, it's been a lot of distractions, disruptions, and a lot of ignorant stuff happening. So, you know, I took it upon myself today. I I, I went cut through, right? So I told them that I said, listen, this is a, a program that's not uh, mandatory. You know, this is a voluntary program. If you don't have, you don't want to be there, you don't have to be here, right? So just off of that basis, I noticed a shift. I opened the door up. You're welcome to go. So now we got maybe three dudes that leave. One dude left because his friend left. And I'm okay with that. And so now, you know, the guys that was playing and going through all of the, you know, the ignorant things that they were doing, now they, they silent now. And so I was like, okay, now this is what we're going to do. You know, my whole priority was to say, listen, I'm going to put it in y'all hands. Like, I'm tired of trying to force y'all to understand something. What do y'all want from me? I think one of the toughest things in teaching kids that are naturally tough is that, listen, you, you're not really going to be at the top of the hierarchy, the societal hierarchy. When, when, when it's all said and done and you done fought a couple people, bust a couple guns, sold a couple packs, yeah, when you done did all that, right, where you going to be at? You ain't about to be at the top of the hierarchy. You ain't going to be making millions of dollars. You, you'll be lucky if you can even uh, get your life in order from that standpoint because a lot of people can't. So right then and there, I noticed the energy shift, right? Come, I came at them with a pure seriousness. Like, listen, there's no point in being here. And so I, I reiterate them. I said, listen, man, this is your life, man. Like, if I have nothing to get out of this, I won't come back. You guys might have to deal with another person because I feel like, for me, I don't want to waste my time. I said, y'all don't even use us the right way. I said, y'all got two young men coming in here every day with the ability to give y'all all types of information and to be able to help y'all whichever direction you want to go to succeed. However, y'all guys just keep coming in here, playing around and not take y'all so serious. This is what we're going to do. I started learning from them at that point, finally, right? So I said, what y'all want to do? Like, what are we here for? So dudes is like, yo, let's learn financial literacy. Yo, I want to learn life skills. Yo, I want to learn about real estate. Listen, I want to learn about, you know, putting a suit on time to time, professional attire. So I'm like, all right, cool. Now we can get somewhere. But the moral of the story is this. Uh, you got to be thought provoking with kids. That's a lot tougher. You got to really challenge that thought process for sure. Um, two, I realized also that they want to feel like they have options, of course. So I think the fact that they felt that they had options made them feel like, OK, maybe we can use this and maybe this can work to our advantage. And three, I feel like kids that's a lot tougher and rough around the edges. They necessarily do want to know the things that the average kid do want to know. The problem is they don't want to. Uh, be labeled or stigmatized to be outside of what they currently are. And the thing is, they have to realize or be reassured that it's okay to not be consistently uh, the problem child or, or known for doing something that's hindering you. It's okay to be able to progress and learn. To book me for speaking engagements, contact me now. Stay chiseled.